What's up, everyone? Welcome to episode nine of season five of Where's That Bar Card? I'm Nick, one of your hosts. Alongside me is Daryl. <laughs> I remain Monty Scott. <laughs> And we have a, a a guest, a third timer, a third time guest, one of the only repeating guests we've ever had, Mr. Nick Reynoldson. What's up, Nikki? Well, happy to be here, fellas. Uh, I'm in a lot better shape than the last time I was on this podcast, so it feels good to <laughs> remember what I'm saying and feel my legs and all that. It's good. <laughs> well, you're in better shape sort of probably alcohol-wise, but worse shape it sounds physically because you've been playing an insane amount of golf for Canadian winters. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, first, before we get into that, you haven't been on since Myrtle. Give us your recap of, of your first bull moose experience in, in Myrtle. Um, absolutely incredible. Um, uh, it was so much fun. Like you're, you're always worried about just being with, you know, yeah, a bunch of 13 strangers, bunch strangers of, yeah, strange yeah. men. Right. Um, especially on a golf course. Cause you know, you don't know how people are going to react. It's, yeah. it's never fun when you play with absolute lunatics. Yep. Um, but everyone was super chill and really cool and like really friendly and really funny. And uh, man, it's like a, it's an annual thing now. That's amazing. And I've I've been named captain, which I know blew my mind. <laughs> it's incredible. You and Monty, me and Monty, you're, you're locked in for next year. There's no excuses. I, I, you, you guys don't even know how serious I, I'm going to take this. It's, <laughs> it's going to be a mess. Are you I, opposing I... captains? How does it work? Uh, I'm uh, assistant captain. Yeah, Nick's the captain. They're and rightfully the... so, with the amount of graphs he's going to have out and stuff. Well, yeah, yeah, he, he's going to. I'm going like, to know what um, clubs people are playing. I'm, I'm going in. I, I get one of those protractors. <laughs> um, <laughs> start doing some circles. Uh, what do you call it? He, he, he's going to be like a captain of a ship. Yeah, he's going to be in his room working on maps. Uh, so it'll be Nick and Monty are the captains of the blue team and Merv is the captain of the red team. And I'm the assistant captain of the red team. So it'll be me and Merv against, against Nick and Monty. And just so you know, in terms of Nick saying he's taking this seriously, uh, we have the summer bull moose event in August, as we said, it is what March 15th right now, Rob sent out an email this morning about picking teams soon, like it within the next week. And that's, it's March 15th. The event isn't until August 15th. So it, you you guys will be getting any, your spring will be busy preparing for, for Myrtle next January. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, uh, I am not playing games, man. I, I watched the, is there a point system? You guys have to yeah, yeah, there's pick a, your team no, yeah, I yeah. Mean, and picking the teams. Uh, what do you mean? Is it like, is it like the, like the Ryder cup? Everybody, yeah. <laughs> everybody well, has yeah. a handy. I mean, Everybody. moving into it. Oh, like, I, I mean, see. How you pick the team, like the Ryder Cup points. Um, you just pick blindly. He, he doesn't know who everybody is. Yeah, well, you got everyone's handicap. And, but so you we pick know, by we, handicap. We know them now too. And then, yeah, they're probably going to know everyone. Maybe there'll be a couple guys who who weren't, weren't there last year who'll be there next year. But yeah, you kind of pick blind your first few times, but uh, it's really just based on handicap. Um, not you know that what? They nailed difficult. my handicap. Apparently, uh, mine mine is going to be the same as last year. Is it? There you go. So, so how do you know that for nine, eleven months from now that you're going to have the same handicap? Oh, I mean, it could be better. It could be worse. Yeah, Rob I mean, will sort of. If... Rob tracks like scores over time, but he won't be tracking your scores, likely. So you, it, he bases it on your performance during bull moose events. Well, yeah, uh, Daryl, that's an interesting point because I mean, no, it's not a guarantee that everybody finishes the year with both arms. <laughs> so, I mean, you lose an arm, yeah, it's going to throw off your handicap. I mean, you know, I I, I've keeps... seen some of those cart paths of four seasons. There's a good chance <laughs> multiple limbs are lost. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. No guarantee you're going to make it with all your digits that could throw off the game. You know, yeah. um, I, I guess you could have a super powered arm, but that's very more unlikely. Sure. <laughs> that a limb would really pick it up. Uh, all right. So since Myrtle, how many rounds of golf have you played, man? Since Myrtle, I have played, hold on, I can tell you exact numbers. Which was two months ago, we got back from Myrtle. And it's Canadian winter. And it's Canadian winter. Eight rounds of golf. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's Eight insane. Full 18s. Jesus Christ. Eight rounds of golf. Yeah. 
between so in the last in the in the preceding two months from January fifteenth till now in in Canada, you played eight rounds of golf. I I played two rounds this week already. <laughs> wow. I'm I'm <laughs> well. well I'm, I'm sick. I got a problem. Let's <laughs> talk about <laughs> we were talk we were talking before we recorded. But tell <laughs> what did you do the last two rounds that you don't normally do? So yeah, me me and my brother we decided to like listen. This is this is an expensive goddamn sport here we can't be riding carts and playing two times a week it's i will bankrupt my family i said this last time i'm on the podcast we're on our way we are on our way dude uh so we're we're walking and carrying now jesus oh yeah oh, making yeah. my dad proud that's how you're supposed to play the game what what are green fees in uh, february Canada. What 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 the green fees cost? They don't even they don't do they don't even cheapen it. They're like, yeah, this is what it is. Forty five bucks. Get fucked. Jesus. You're on a fairway. You're like knee deep in water on a fairway. <laughs> oh man. Well, yeah. I just I'm, I, I, I can't. I'm not a simulator guy. I've realized. Ah, uh, got you. Okay. Like I I don't believe. First of all, like I I was like I can't hit the ball at all, and I found out we were measuring in meters. Uh, and that <laughs> made me feel a lot better. I'm like this is fucking insane that we had this in meters. Like, there's no way I can I can only hit a pitching wedge. Like, like what is, is this, this true? Is this what's been driving me nuts? I'm simulating. Check this if whole it's time? in meters, man. I'm telling you, because I'm like, there's no way I'm hitting this short. And then it was in meters. I'm like, okay, thank God. Jesus. Listen, I've heard I've heard that excuse before. I've used that excuse before. Like, I'm about like <laughs> ten or fifteen short of the green, and I'm like, well, that's because it was in meters. Yeah, <laughs> and they're like, "What do you even? What do you mean?" And I was like, "Well, you—they're measured in meters." I was like, "You're short of the green." So, yeah, yeah your swing that. isn't in meters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm like, I, 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 I guess I'm like more a feel and like visual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it doesn't make sense to me yeah. in a simulator. It's like it's good for go hitting balls, but I'm like to play like a course. I'm like this is bullshit. Uh, and how's the game? What's the state of your game since Myrtle? Uh, not bad. I'm like. I'm really working on alignment. Mm -hmm. I really don't. Monty knows this. I don't fucking ever know where I'm aiming. Right. Yeah. So I can't like tell I can make flush contact, but I'm like aiming into trees. Right. So that's really what I'm like focusing <laughs> on, like aiming good. I don't know if it's because my back is weird. So like it feels like I'm straight, but I'm like, I'm, I'm aimed into a farm. Oh yeah, and you you hear you, uh, he'll edge his feet in all sorts of different directions. He's very yeah. he's, he tends to be fidgety. They don't just go down and stay down. They tend to be moving around and like what. But then yeah, it gotta... goes, usually it goes in the right direction. Usually it's right. I, that's yeah. why I can't even say anything because I'm like I don't know. It doesn't look right to me. But yeah, no. What am I that's... judging stances here? What do I care? The man. I've been uh, what's right. I've, I've been making my brother like film. Oh really? Videos, and then look at it. I'm like, what? I'm aiming directly into trees. Damn. Directly into trees. <laughs> That's what I've been telling you, buddy. Every time, it freaks me out. I'm like, this can't be right. But then it's not. Then it's okay. And I'm like, no. I guess that's that's how he does it. Oh, it's because I normally hit a draw, but I'm like, there's no way I should be aiming that way, like, and hoping that it draws. Like, if it doesn't draw, it's gone. I'll never. That's gone. Uh, I, I feel like your your mind is doing other calculations. To to it was like maybe your mind has given up on your feet. Well, I, I do this <laughs> like listen. I got Scotty Scheffler feet at a dress though, not oh, like geez. swing. Like my feet are just <laughs> shuffling. Like, so I'm trying to calm that down and trying to trying to aim. That's really what I'm focused on. But I shot an 88 uh, wow. yesterday. Holy shit! Wow. Oh, Thursday, yeah, Thursday, Thursday, Good yeah, it was you, man. That's amazing. It was nice yesterday to to play, probably. Yeah, it was really nice. It was like a little bit cool, and we played at 9:15. It was cool, and we played with like two old guys. It was great. It's amazing, Monty. What would what would be the circumstances where you would walk and carry your bags for 18 holes of golf? Oh, no, I would do it. Um, I used to do it. Um, really? Okay. I played, I played four seasons um, and I carried my own bag and I, I barely, like I say, I barely got out of it. Um, like when I finally made it up to the top, cause it's a Valley. When I made it up to the top, like I was, maybe I told you guys, it was like, I felt like Sandra Bullock in gravity when she hit the ground. <laughs> <finally after. laughs> She made it through. Like I made it. I was just like, I'm out. You know, I'm out. I thought that valley. I thought that valley had eaten me whole. You know. You were in your underwear for some reason. You were wet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> just face down in the parking lot. They're like, what happened to this guy? I'm like, I don't know. He, he walked. 
<laughs> that's insane. I don't think I'd ever consider even walking four seasons. That's that's too much. Four well, seasons, yeah, it's tough. It's really, uh, it's crazy. But um, but I was doing it just for exercise. So I was just like, oh, I'll just get out and I'll. I was go- I was alone. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, I guarantee um, you, so, me and my brother will do it. Like it's, it's gonna happen. Yeah. I don't know if I'll like it, but. What well, courses so I'm, are I'm you not playing? Oppo- I'm not opposed to it. What other what courses? What other courses are you playing right now, Nick? Uh, Valley Mead, uh, Flambro in Hamilton was really. That's a really nice course. They have like three nine hole courses, three uh, mm. tracks, and um, Burlington Springs, which was really nice. Oh, damn. yeah. So are you okay, just you calling random me. courses and seeing what's open, or my brother is like a Reddit rat, dude? So I don't even know what oh. he, he's on there deep, and he's like, "Hey, man, this is open. You want to go?" I'm like, "Let's, yeah, sure, let's go, dude." He's on the <laughs> dark golf web. Yeah, he 100 percent is, <laughs> and he won't tell me. He's like, he wants the control over it because he doesn't want me like going with you guys and getting better. He's like, "No, no, I'm playing the exact same amount of rounds as you're playing. I'm not letting you fucking get better than me." <laughs> <laughs> he had a he has a membership oh. to the the simulator. Jesus Christ! Wow, it's twenty four hour simulator unmanned. They just send you like a code and you go in there. Yeah, yeah. And he's like a, a member. Jesus, what is the uh, what is the competitiveness between you two guys going to be like as you get better? Like, are you guys pretty cutthroat? No, it's like because we're like almost the exact same golfer. It's hilarious. Yeah, right. Like we drive the same distance. Like we're normally yeah. around like three four shots within each other on yeah, yeah. any given round but it's like yeah i mean i do hope for him to fucking shank some in the water sometimes <laughs> absolutely but for he the did, most part, uh... like you want to you want to see guys hit good you want to i want to see him hit yeah. good shots but... who's the better walker uh him for sure <laughs> he's a bigger that's, stronger that's... man which is why when i outdrive him i'm it's he hears it i let him hear it <laughs> Buddy, you know that's the key. If you're gonna do do it like that, I would always be trying to weigh down his bag with something, with some <laughs> rocks or some some wet sand in there in the bottom, like under, on at the bottom, um, tape it to the bottom or something. You know what I mean? Well, he does. He bangs be... me up though. He he get he'll like wait six or seven holes and then give me weed and I'm just oh, wrecked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like and then oh, I'm yeah. like everything. I'm just so in my head. Like, all right, you got to get your shoulder to your your chin and then i'm like make sure your feet flare out your left foot a little bit like i'm just fuck i'm a disaster and he knows it there was a couple times in myrtle i think during the last round we played at tidewater that dave who was a what was he a 31 handicap uh 32 i can't remember what you guys were um 22 20 something 20 something no no not not as high as 30 um there was like twice that he outdrove me and Mm -hmm. it was like all right. Okay, David. Well yeah. done. Yep. Yeah. And I mean, yeah. I'm not the longest hitter in the world, but when yeah, well, 22 is like up. hitting it pretty past me. It's like, oh, all right, young blood. Good for you. Let's yeah. go. Next yeah. shot. No, he might have been more than 20. Yeah. Well, what were you guys, Nick? You were the same? Uh, handicap? I think he froze. He oh, just... he's really stoned right now. And he's so happy. <laughs> David's smoking <laughs> some weed. <laughs> Oh, there. He's <laughs> back. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, what, what were your, your, what was your handicaps? Yeah. What? Do you recall? Uh, it was like 20. Was I'm pretty handicap. sure it was 20 or 21. Oh, might have been 20. It was 21. over 20. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Maybe, maybe it was 21. You guys were both 21? Yeah. Yeah. I'm or, pretty sure yeah, yeah, it was yeah. 21 or 22 around there. Because I do right. remember Barry's handicap was uh, was uh, lower than ours and and we really took that to heart. That really upset us. I remember that. That was probably my well, fault. They... Oh, that's all right. Well, no, no, that was a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, yeah. Uh, he, but Barry was quite low on there. It was 15 or something for, for that. Right. Uh, no, that that's, that's, uh, that's hilarious. You guys made it out eight times. Uh, I'll just say this. So uh, uh, tell David to watch out um, when he's on the dark web, there looking for golf courses. You don't want to end up getting on one that has the child trafficking or whatever. <laughs> So try to make sure like that's where they all start they're all yeah. child trafficking golf courses Dude, it was uh whatever the the first decent day we he found some course i swear to god it was a man's backyard <laughs> and there was like it was just trash like everywhere like there was like a, an old anchor like it was an old creepy man 
<laughs> and I was like, where the fuck did you find this course? Like, I read it. I'm like, we're never coming back here again. Like, this is insane. Uh, that's the dark web. There's probably like a pizza parlor on there. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah Hillary Clinton's yeah. just hanging around out front. I was like, is that Hillary yeah. What's going on? The petting zoo is just dogs. There's no. <laughs> <laughs> you take the wrong turn on reddit that's what ha that's what happens oh i i have a question for you fellas not not a question more a concern uh i can't remember which pod this was last week or the weeks before but you guys you're you're playing scuffed up balls yeah thank you nick thank you <laughs> what are you guys doing yes We're terrible golfers what are you talking oh you know the only thing you. is i saw a thing yesterday and you probably saw because the nick probably saw it this guy who basically tests putting things, he just uses a little, yeah. And he used uh, grass stain ball versus yeah. non grass stain ball. Yeah. And the grass stain ball went about three inches shorter. Yep. It, if you have a scuffed up, it literally can, it can affect you by like forty yards. Yeah. Well, yeah. it has to be really scuffed to do that. Is... Oh, I don't know. I don't know how <laughs> scuffed it is. I'm not playing. What are you guys doing? <laughs> the face there... you just made. <laughs> I don't, it's, it's hard for me to understand. My car has a little scratch on it. Goes exactly the same speed. I don't understand a little what bit you, of a scuff. What if you had a punctured wheel? It wouldn't go the same speed, Monty. No, I, yeah, I, I was. But I'm Monty's been playing with punctured balls for about twelve years now. <laughs> I've been. They're cheaper. I bought them. I've been buying them punctured. <laughs> By the refurbished I mean, balls. What is, is? Are you talking to any scuff? I I I don't I don't know like they didn't and, tell me the degree of scuffness but they're like it yeah they showed the testing it's like forty yards it's like yeah it it matters I mean, a lot not obviously scuffed ball maybe I'd be but I mean like are you guys using one of the jeweler uh, eyes when you're looking at these balls like what type of <laughs> no you you how feel. are you looking at these things <laughs> like I I'll change it. if I hit a tree I'm changing my ball yes if I hit a cart path I'm likely changing my how ball. rich are you yeah. what what Comedy clubs am I not working? That you guys can afford this. <laughs> I'm I'm not I'm playing what, like I'm, a... I'm playing like the I'm playing like the tailor made distance balls. I'm not playing like TP fives or anything. I'm not playing right. expensive. Yeah, balls. yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm I, like I said, all, all my balls and... all my balls cost sixteen bucks for a twelve pack. I get them yeah. at it's, it's Boxing Day, and I buy as many as I can, and then that's it. But yeah. still, I mean, right. I I know I'm going to use a ball until I lose it. Wow. You guys have maybe convinced me to buy buy the Kirklands and give them a try. Yeah, do it. I'm they're good. Sure they're probably great. Yeah. I, Actually, I Monty, like you know what's cr a new ball? Silvu Play, SVP Sports. Yeah, yeah. They sell golf balls. Really? 20 bucks for 12 of the tailor made distance balls. Yeah. I'll just buy balls if they're what what is this Silvu Play golf or sports? What is this? Is this a Scarborough, you, you don't know that? Or a Scarborough. You don't know, you don't know SVP Sports? Oh, if this is a deep Scarborough web thing, let me know. <laughs> I not, think it, it might have come out of Scarborough, but there's there, they got other locations. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if Scarborough invented it or not. It seems like it should have. Yeah. You but don't know not, Scarborough uh, invented the sporting goods store? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, they're not, it's, not, um, it's not used things, though, but it's things. My golf bag's from Super Play. It seems very unscarpo to name something a French phrase, but yeah, uh, strange. Maybe that's just to throw it off. Though, like they won't know we're from Scarborough if we speak French. It's like discount uh, sporting wear. Like everything is yeah. like you can get a Jordan sweatshirt if you're an extra extra large. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I bought a Adidas shoes from there, um, and I've only been walking with them, and they're falling apart. So I might have to take them back. <laughs> this is six months later, though. I'm like, you know what? You, I'm gonna come in just speaking French, angry French. <laughs> and be like, you fucked me on these shoes. That's why I'll put the paraphrase English underneath. Tabardak. It's, the, <laughs> it's the, the two things that baffle me about amateur golfers is is not caring about the ball, the state of your ball, and not cleaning your clubs. Just baffles me. It's I'm so easy of both to do of those things. Yeah, Mon Monty has never cleaned his club. We, we talked about. No, this. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. And no, the, and no head I... covers, which is insane. Yeah, well, that's it, that is an insane <laughs> thing. <laughs> you guys go from the fine China. I don't know what the hell's going on. I didn't know I was too burly for this sport. I'm like, I can't. Yeah, you're too much I of a to... man. You're not precious enough with your things, Monty. <laughs> no, I'm not precious enough. Yeah, because I'm like, 
Listen, I'm, I use things till they're dead, but until they, until they disintegrate, they're fine. I'm hitting things with them. And my my driver was five hundred and seventy dollars. I'm yeah. I'm I'm covering that bitch every time I swing exactly. it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what though? Maybe um I have you know what I have seen some damage to clubs like when my my three wood um you know they got the dials for the different lofts that lo that may have been gone the dial it's it's damaged <laughs> I can't it may be gone <laughs> <laughs> not but I don't know where it happened or what Monty, happened. Monty, I, I would like definitely a... call that a scuff. Yeah, I would definitely it's just, call oh, that it's a scuff. scuff. That's forty Listen. yards right there, Monty. <laughs> forty yards. If if that club was uh what do you call it if that club was a like if that was a, a compass on a boat we would never find shore <laughs> that is i will never know I, if i change my loft i'll never know what loft i am on again do you even uh, have like a a three wood cover i threw it away immediately i not only i get them and i just throw them right out he thought it was like they're wrapping yeah it's, it's in the packaging <laughs> Yeah, Some of the fanciest open. packaging yeah. I've ever yeah. seen. What a waste. It's, it's leather. <laughs> uh, too bad I Merry have to Christmas. throw it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't need this hand cover. Yeah. He's still I... angry about tapes from the 1990s trying to get those open. <laughs> He's not, I'm, not, I'm not keeping this. Yeah. CD, CDs from the back of the early 2000s. Like, how do I get into this? <laughs> Let's open the goddamn thing. I, yeah. Just get it off. Now it's open. Now it's ready. Now it's activated. It's activated. <laughs> you sounded kind of French when you said activated. <laughs> yeah. We'll play, it's baby. Activated. <laughs> yeah, no, I, um, so that is the, it's damaged. I don't know if I can repair it, but, um, because you, you're in a cart at four seasons <laughs> driving over a hill and all the dirt is rattling around back there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, what? I don't know. Um, I wasn't going to do a photo shoot it with him, like me and Seal or whatever. You know what I mean? What? what, um, what so are you like, and who? The, uh, the performing artist Seal. <laughs> I think he does some <laughs> modeling, <laughs> doesn't he? There's always such a wide divide between the reality of things and what you propose to do. Like, I'm... <laughs> It's amazing. It's and why insane. Seal? Yeah. Of all people in the world, he picks out Seal. Yeah. My three was like broken, but I don't need it. <laughs> What's Seal going to uh, give me a call for a photo shoot? We're talking seen, about golf clubs, man. Have you ever shoot. seen Seal use a scuff ball? I've never seen Seal use a scuff ball. He's doing a photo shoot with Seal, <laughs> Seal. not even attending a concert <laughs> or anything. A photo shoot. Me and Seal. And my with club. a man with a scuffed up face, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was it a he, singer, he not even a model, not even a guy known for taking pictures. He got he one is. of the worst faces in entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody should have put a head cover on him. <laughs> yeah, um. his, his face went off a cart path. <laughs> Monty calls Somebody. the scuffs on his balls a kiss from a rose. <laughs> 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 it's, it's, uh, a lot of my game is seal oriented <laughs> i'm gonna get some monty some seal seal skin golf club covers i'm gonna club the seal myself and make some covers for him <laughs> Out there clubbing seals, I'm like what? Seals <laughs> down on Lake Ontario trying to club a seal for Monty. <laughs> a man's an avid golfer and an avid uh, um, photographer. Uh, what do you call that? What do you call those people? Model. That are, uh, model. Oh, model. okay. I I uh, I was gonna say photographier or something. You know I mean? <laughs> people that are <laughs> have pictures taken of them. People who photograph or photography. <laughs> you know, the, uh, the, the, uh, yeah, no, I guess it would be model, but it's like, it should be the, you know, like the photography. <laughs> but just I guess that's not used. It's not a, just that's not creating common. French words. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I went full French for this conversation. <laughs> Yeah, so the, the photography uh, is, like I say, <laughs> seal, seal, seal is a, you know, a renowned photography. You know, photography is a word. 
It's, yeah, uh, it's just photography, man. Yeah, not the word you're, <laughs> you're using it. No, you don't need to put an Exante y, Google with, <laughs> Yeah, and I'm going with an E. I think you're going with a double E. Yeah, yeah. Exante e. Google. Or what's the one with the house? Uh, what is that? Uh, 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 the the two of them together. I'll put that yeah. over one of the E's. Yeah. Oh, no, Exante. I can't remember. Exante Grav. Yeah. Yeah. Exante Grav, maybe. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. That'll that'll get it done. Photography. Ooh. That was something. <laughs> I, I I have m- many times in my life gone to hand signals for uh, punctuation. Yeah, sure. One time, because <laughs> me and Mark DeBonis were trying to figure out uh, wh- what do you call a, a, a what is a hyphen or something. I was like the 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 two of them together, the te- like a couple of dots, like bam, you know. I was trying to explain to him like bam, like that one, and he's like, no, I know the one, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it's called, but I'm like, you know the one, and like that one. And he's like, yeah, I don't know. I know. I've seen it. I would like to know what the the basis of this conversation was that you have to describe (laughs) punctuation. Well, me and me and Mark were just talking punctuation. A couple of Scarborough guys, that, a couple of Scarborough Board of Education guys talking punctuation. That would be an amazing podcast. Monty and Debone is talking grammar yeah. weekly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, weekly would be a bit much. I think we'd exhaust our uh, <laughs> repertoire before <laughs> it would be a mini series. Let's say. Oh, man. I'm on board for that podcast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because at some point we're going to figure out what that is. Maybe even what it does. What is it? Colon, semicolon? I, I don't know. Are, are they colons? Yeah, they're colons, Monty. <laughs> well, okay, colons. You know what you're doing, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, gotta CRF. give yourself some credit. Yeah, well, I tell you what, uh, already Mark's uh, Mark's role's been cut in the podcast. We already figured out what it, what it is. <laughs> I, it's crazy that you, you 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 even have these thoughts because you, you have the most extensive vocabulary out of yeah. most people I know. Yeah. And you're like, this one. I'm like, how the fuck do you not know what that is, Monty? <laughs> well, I mean, I can read, but it's mostly, it's a lot of audible, you know? I, I, and my vocabulary is more audible than I'm, I'm certainly not writing it down. And right. also, if I were to, it would be uh, maybe more in pictures, you know? Who knows how I would uh, express the, the words? They, they get around up there, but, uh, you know. And I, I don't, I'm not worried about the minutia of uh, words, you know? Mm. Like you're putting, like colons. I'm like, all right, sure. Knock yourself out. I can read the words. Once you teach me how to read the words, what am I worried about? A couple of dots here? Yeah. yeah. That, doesn't, that doesn't make a word. Yeah. yeah. You know how to use them, but you don't know how to yeah. write them. Yeah. What are, we, what are we, word scientists here? Let's just friggin' write down the words, shall we? You know? Not, yeah. Uh, the, I don't the need classic word scientist. The word scientist. <laughs> <laughs> just a guy in a lab throwing a couple of letters into a, a beaker. See what they get? You know, word science. That's how it is. What do you call it? Um, yeah, because I'm like, I don't need stage direction here for fuck's sake. So I'm not reading the play. Just just give me the words, you know. Because if you give me the instructions, I might not even know what to do with them. Hey, but man. see, I don't know if a colon means the pre- uh, the preceding word I should do in a higher voice. I don't even know. Is that what you do? Do I change what? pitch on this? <laughs> Monty, in what grade did they teach you that some sort of form of punctuation means the words before it are in a higher pitch? <laughs> oh, oh, like I, oh, sorry. I, I got ahead of myself. I have to go back now and read these words again, but in a higher, in a higher pitch. You know? Yeah, I'm like, do I change octaves for this for this sentence? Or, you know, what are we doing? I don't know a lot about grammar. I'm terrible at it, but I'm going to say 100 times out of 100, when you see punctuation, <laughs> that doesn't mean it changes the way you said the things already said. Yeah. I, it, it is not involved. Yeah. A, there's yeah, there's yeah. no stage direction in the, in the newspaper <laughs> no. or magazines. Yeah. That's what every word scientist has taught yeah. me, at least. Yeah. Monty's just reading All opera. All right. All right. Listen, uh, you know, agree to disagree. I don't know. Um <laughs> Well, I'm only speculating. I don't know what the I don't who knows what the colon can do. <laughs> Limitless possibilities. Limitless possibilities. I mean, who, who knows? Or it could mean that everything's in uh, what do you call that? Sharp now. Now everything's sharp. <laughs> uh, Not music. Man. In music. Yeah. In music. Yeah. <laughs> You're supposed to have music notes. Like, yeah. What's happening? 
No, well, now we That's just change everything clip. to sharp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, you see, I Nick, when you see a treble clef, does that mean you say everything before it in a higher pitch? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. What what key is this conversation in? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna say D. <laughs> I've been going in D. <laughs> uh, what do you, what do you call it? Uh, <clears throat> well, see, I'm putting punctuation in with the music as as general stage direction, all of it. You know, I, that's that's a, how I categorize my brain: just stage direction and things, sure. signs, uh-huh. and um, you know. So that's how I could mix them together. Yeah, what a be beautiful mind, Monty! Yeah, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful mind you got there. Uh, Nick, since you're not a simulator guy, are you a are you a range guy? Like, do you like to practice? Yeah, or I'm, I'm, I, I I like seeing like ball flight and stuff for real. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you're I, not I, adverse I, to like hitting balls and working on your game. There. No, I I love it. Actually, my my dad is uh, he has like a little setup in the garage. Oh yeah, didn't he create a simulator or kind of yeah. thing or not a simulator but like a no, yeah, he, it's practice. a simulator. He he oh, bought is. like a computer and and programs Jesus. and he's not fucking around. Wow, you it's lessons. a full-on simulator, right? Yeah, it's a full-on simulator. Yeah, I'm 100 full-on simulator. He's got a yeah, he's got like a launch monitor. Jesus, I had to go with him to Costco. He for some reason bought a 65 inch TV for the simulator. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, Did I, I you like see this guy. Monty's I, face I, light up all of a sudden. Just Monty, <laughs> just Monty. Monty's seen some of the pictures. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I was like, this guy's got good taste in TVs. I love, I love everything he's did there. Yeah, <laughs> looking sick. Well, I, yeah. You must be hitting from that one, Nick. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm mostly just chipping there though, because he he's gonna move it out uh to the backyard, because it's wow. it's hard to like you can swing a full driver in the garage. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, oh, yeah. But, so I mean, I'm just in there chipping most of the time. Um, but yeah, he's 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 gonna move it out back and have a full on. Wow. With the TV. I think so. I think he's gonna put it like on a, a a wheel stand so he can wheel it in and out. That, that's amazing. He's man. He, he, yeah, That'd be he's, great. He's nuts. He will bankrupt <laughs> his family for sure. <laughs> he's retired and he's not making money, and he, he is buying shit, dude. My he's buying like swing aids from Japan. No way. I swear to God, he's like, check this out, and it's like this thing that you put on your club and it like holds your arms like this. Oh, like, what yeah, are you yeah. doing, man? Jesus. Yeah, and he's oh, like, so I, he's been out like I think once with us this year, and uh, he just gets so mad because he can't hit as far as he used to, and he's like, mm. so he's playing from the forward tees, and it's hilarious, man. <laughs> like he's, but he's that's, the, so that's mad. wild. I didn't know that was a that was a uh, your family was a predisposed to uh, rabbit holing. <laughs> you guys are all oh, yeah. down the rabbit hole. Oh well, well, I mean, he was that guy. He was like when like he was my age. He was that guy. And then he <laughs> he was too hard uh, about golf on me and David, so we were like, "Fuck this game, man! This is this is not fun." <laughs> but now we're back, and uh, now we're out driving him, and it, it, and he doesn't like it. So <laughs> he's he's on the web trying to find any little like he's got the you know the speed trainers. The, he's got all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Like once a week, he gets something. I'm like, "What the hell are you buying, man? <laughs> what are he's you doing?" On the web flailing around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he's got like the that you add weights and he's just fucking like just go oh, for a jog, <laughs> <laughs> stretch more, man. That'll help you. Yeah, the stretching can't hurt. No, can't hurt. I, like... I I think the weights is a good one though. I used to like that for baseball, like swinging three bats or whatever, swinging two bats. Yeah, where you get the weight on it, that's gotta help. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah he's for sure. at least like it, full on it, it swing, swing speed, speed training. training. Swing speed training. He's got a launch monitor, and he'll challenge us. He's like, come here, let me see your club head speed. Fucking swing this. I'm like, Jesus. I'm not worried about this right now, man. I'm worried about <laughs> aiming into trees. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I see you hit it into the tree, I'm going to swag up to you and ask him, like, what do you think the club head speed was on that? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It really matters over there. <laughs> God damn it, I gotta change my ball again. 
No, well, my God. If, well, if it, that's the case, then if you every time you hit a tree, you change a ball, you must never look for your ball. Oh, I find it, and then I, I, I'll hit him on like a par three over water or something. You know what I mean? Mm. That's where you lose forty yards. Yeah, but I don't need it. I'm not. I don't. I don't need to carry anything. I'm, you know what I mean? So if it goes in the water, it's okay. Oh yeah, there's, there's a method to this madness here. I'm not just there throwing is. fucking balls yeah. away. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm not, uh, so I'm not teeing up on a on par five with a scuffed ball. No. Mm, interesting. I like a challenge. <laughs> God's too know easy. Been... Yeah, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if uh, I've been teeing up with scuffed balls or not. I think if there's a blatant scuff, but then uh, maybe not. I will guarantee you have, Monty. 100%. I'm sure I have. Monty, yeah. last time, you, last podcast, you didn't know if you've ever seen a Pro V1. <laughs> I, no, I, I, no, 100%. I cannot say. I would not be able to pick a... If a Pro V1 robbed a liquor store and they pulled me into a lineup, Jesus. I would, I would not say be Pro V1 be... on its head. <laughs> just, just you and Seal in that lineup. Yeah. <laughs> and, and a golf ball. And a golf ball. <laughs> My my dad uh, bought us Pro V ones for Christmas, and really? I, 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 it's going to take me three years. But I, I I can play those. I'm not good enough to play those balls. It's uh yeah. I think when you get them for free, it's easy. When you pay for them, like I'm not, but I'm not paying for them. I'm not. There's no way. No, I'm not. That's like seventy two dollars. A... Even my club just sent out an email saying they're part of the Titleist loyalty program, and it was like buy buy three dozen get a dozen for free. Uh, which I think they're offering just to everybody. I'm like, I'm gonna drop like 200 bucks on four dozen golf balls. That's insane. No, it's crazy. That's you know what a big part of me wants to do right now is just to to jump off of this call and get in the car and drive over to Monty's and get into his golf bag and see how many Pro V's. <laughs> yeah, are there. yeah, 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 yeah. Eight Pro V ones, <laughs> all scuffed to shit. <laughs> I didn't know. I don't. I don't even understand this shit. Like it's the only time I've ever wanted to. Uh, what do you call it? Hijack a truck of golf balls. Like how much are these <laughs> things going for? A lot. Hey, yeah, I'll show like... you guys this. I found this in my dad's oh, golf bag. Very nice. Oh. oh, that's an old one. And it's still it's new. Fancy. Oh wow, yeah. it's brand new. No, no scuffs on that. No. Um, they'll be soon. <laughs> <laughs> Putting that in the water. Uh, I... I kind of like those mat balls. You've been playing with those a lot, Nick. I I I uh I stopped doing that actually. Did you? Did you? Okay. Yeah, I'm like uh, I don't I don't. It's all mental. I'm like I don't like the matte ones anymore. Mm. I still play the yellow, but uh the shinier ones now. The mm. the classic ones. Yeah. For, for for some reason around the green, I don't like the way they feel. And I don't know if that's like real or in my brain. It doesn't matter. It's whatever yeah. it feels like. Yeah, yeah. I'm with yeah, you. Yeah, especially like chipping i'm like i don't like the way the the mat balls feel off the club mm. for some reason yeah it's got it's hard to tell uh, that's the most re liberating thing i've heard said on this uh, podcast uh nick um yeah. well just just talking about uh you know i don't know if it's real or if it's in my head and nick says to you it doesn't matter it doesn't man. matter <laughs> yeah and i'm true. like <laughs> we're we're leaving the world of uh now it's just like if uh it maybe maybe it is seal you know what i mean maybe i'm <laughs> maybe i will do a photo shoot <laughs> Is that is it real or was that I make that up? It like doesn't matter, bro. <laughs> that's the scariest I, thing you can ever tell anybody. I think that's I think a different situation, Monty. I think. <laughs> oh, I just thought the gloves were off now. <laughs> is it real or are Seal and I both the photographies? <laughs> doesn't matter, bro. I'm like, oh, good to hear. Was there another yeah. thing you wanted to bring up on this podcast, Nick? I feel like Monty a couple of weeks back said Nick wants to come on. He's got something to talk about. Um, it was just general golf because I think uh, I okay. think I'd listen to a podcast. I'm like, you guys didn't talk about golf yeah. once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds <laughs> that was my right. goal. That's my yeah. goal every episode. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why Daryl's framing himself as a saboteur of this <laughs> podcast. Um, That's not a saboteur. I quite enjoy this podcast. Until we, talk about, <laughs> until we talk about golf, and then I'm like, all about, favorite podcast. And then I'm about uh, punctuations no. and whatnot, you know? <laughs> That's what I'm into. I've literally uh, been watching talking... golf. I was watching golf before this. I was watching the Players' I'm, Championship. I've got it on right now. Yeah. yeah. You were talking, Do you guys you actually, about... I wanted to ask Monty and Daryl that. Do you guys watch golf? 
Yeah, I actually was watching. Uh, I was watching last Sunday. I was watching. Yeah. Oh, were you? But I mean, I, I you know, I, I think we've talked about this before. I watch a lot of sports. Right. Yeah. So I try to be a good husband sometimes and oh, not I watch see. sports. Right. If right. That makes sense. So, yep. I mean, if it's a Saturday or Sunday afternoon, I'm probably not going to turn on the golf or even the Jays game. Right. Hey, you're a good man. I try. Why aren't you listen? Hey, trying is is at least part of the battle, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, um, colon. Well, <laughs> I looked at colon on that. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, that's a battle. I don't. There's a colon there. <laughs> Do it in a higher octave. God damn it! I um, I, did you guys see Anthony Kim? Did yeah. You guys talk about I this yet? We didn't. We haven't no, talked you, about the, it. No. You had mentioned it. This okay? Yeah. So this is where I want to talk about. So yeah. Anthony Kim was like when like. You guys know Anthony Kim, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a phenom. He was yeah. he was like the yeah, next Mon one. Monty did a photo shoot with him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say he's a Korean, right? Uh, no, he's American. That, he's American. I think he's from L.A. or something. He was That's on yeah. like a he was on the Ryder Cup, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I was just going with the Kim name. That's all I know about him. I, I'm, I'm sure his parents yeah. are yeah. Korean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so he like uh, had it in sh Like, I don't know what happened. He obviously, like, if you saw his face... Just Google Anthony Kim what he looks like now. He's on Live. Is this another that seal? Man, is this another seal conversation? Uh, he, he's got a little seal action going on and on, on, on his face, dude. That is, he has Artie Lang's nose now. Jesus, he Damn. did cocaine for ten years straight. Wow, really? I had no idea. His first of all, he's has a full arm sleeve tattoo, hands and everything. Jesus. Oh, I just got a text from Barry Taylor. Can you use Raptors tickets tonight? Oh, that's all right. Wow. There you that's go. That's what you because you've been doing pretty good on the podcast, Daryl. That's what I heard. Yeah, yeah it's my colons, <laughs> but <laughs> it's her it's the record sales. <laughs> yeah, so so he's he's okay. he's back on live. He's the wild card. And he shot like a one thousand first round was like a yeah, eighty. I don't even think he broke eighty in his first round. No, he was the worst, and then he, then he, I think he shot four under. He's all over the map, but he has not been fitted for clubs. Jesus, he does not know what TrackMan is. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> the rules have changed. He, he, so he's still dropping balls from shoulder height, and they're like, Anthony, you can drop from your knees. He's like, you can. <laughs> so he's like literally been just fucked off for ten years doing coke. Just on a and now he's back with like a stock set of irons that he bought. That's insane. He went to Golf Town. Yeah, you yeah. at the pro <laughs> shop probably before his first round. I can't get That's any close-ups of him. I don't That's see any. Insane. I see the sleeve. I got the sleeve here. I got it. Oh, yeah, his like, like nostrils are different shape. That's not yeah, old that's, age. That's, that's meth. That looks like meth or something. Yeah. Well, they're so, all. Uh, uh... That's crazy. But he's back and like he, I think he uh, he played fucking horrible again this week, but. Mm. He's not even using pro equipment. That's insane. That's <laughs> madness. That's that's amazing. That's insane that uh. So does he not do drugs anymore, or? I don't know. Like I know he tried to get back on the PGA tour, and they told him like, "Hey, man, like you can't just come back here. You have to qualify." Right. And he's like, "Yeah, fuck that. I'm going to live." Yeah. Give me twenty million dollars. Jesus. That's that's the best. He just called like. <laughs> He called the president, like, hey, can I get back on? They're like, no, man. I think called we have Jay a thing. Like, no. <laughs> oh, Greg Norman? Fucking right, yeah. Come on over. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. I would love to have you. How many mil do you want? <laughs> oh, I see the I bought, um, uh, I'm like, yeah, that's wild. I bought a, a Heavenwood. Heavenwood? More nerd talk, golf talk. Yeah, Let's it's, a, do so it. it's, a, it's a seven wood with a five wood shaft. Oh, so it's longer, extra, extra long. It's longer, yeah. So and the it it's just for like, especially if you're in the rough and you need a high ball. I it's my favorite club. I fucking love it. What's the make? Where it? It's Callaway. Callaway Heavenwood. Yeah, interesting. So how far do you figure you can hit it? That goes about like one eighty, one ninety. Nice. Okay. And you and... don't have to get more loft on a five wood. It's more well, often a five. The ball flight is yeah. It would be easier to hit than a five wood. Yeah. So I've I have a driver five wood seven not in heaven wood. And then so I'm you just still want more distance on your seven. 
uh, I wanted it higher. Right. Because my five woods low, like low and oh, far, yeah, and it piercing. rolls. Right. The heaven wood is we get yeah. a, a lot more loft, and it lands can, softer. Can you hit it off of like tight lies? Okay. Yeah. Out of the fairways, no problem. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's interesting, huh? I never have heard of that before. Yeah, I think Callaway is the only one that makes the the heaven wood, but it's huh. it's a game it's changer. Pretty, yeah. Yeah. So it's just like just a long seven, more or less. Long five, yeah, but it's the same as it's a long seven, yeah, long seven one, yeah, yeah, like you're just you're just trying to get more distance out of a seven, more, you know. It's it's still a wood, it's I mean it's still going a lot further than my seven iron, right? Right. Oh, it's a, it's a wood. Yeah, it's a fairy wood. Oh, okay, okay. I know. I was. I just thought you just put a a seven iron on a, a the length of the five shaft. No, it's a five wood shaft. Is it's the same length as that. But the seven wood head, so more loft. Ah, yeah. Okay, okay. I just thought you were doing it with irons. No, 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 no. So I have a gap between that and five iron, and I don't That's know what to good. do. I love the five uh, wood and uh, a seven would be nice. But you have. I'll let you clubs. hit it next time. You'll you'll like it. It's sick. You, it's sick. How many wedges do you have? Too many. I <laughs> I have uh too many fucking wedges. So I, right now I'm going, I'm pitching wedge, uh, gap wedge, 52, 56, 60. How many clubs yeah. are you carrying right now? You're carrying, carrying 18, 19? No, no, no. I'm carrying this, the, the, got 14. the legal amount. I got 14 yeah, clubs. But that gap, so the gap between the seven wood and the five iron, how long can you hit your five iron? Ideally? Uh, fucking dude, if I hit it good, 170. That's 75. not bad. If you can hit the seven wood, 180. Yeah. That's sort of ideal. Yeah, I so would I'm, honestly like. I got rid of my sixty. I don't think we, I don't think we really need sixties. Oh, I'm that's my favorite glove, man. Really, I will never get rid of my six. That's my I chip most. Like I, I would get rid of my fifty-two in a heartbeat. Really, or my gap wedge in a heartbeat. Yeah, I use sixty for anything, dude. Okay, all right. Like, like fifty yards in sixty, yeah. six degree all day. Interesting. Huh. I, I, I use a I got P a wedge eight and. Uh, hmm. You use the from 50 wedge? in Daryl pitching wedge, like half swing, about 100, 110 in. I use a wedge pitching wedge, yeah. I, I would go like a, I would say like 100 for me. I'm that's a pitching wedge. So, 50 yard shot, Daryl, you're just sawing off a pitching, pitching wedge? wedge, just saw nice, it off, half, half easy swing. swing, yeah, yeah, okay, 10 yards, nice, easy swing, bunker, nice, easy swing, bunker, pitching, pitching wedge, wedge. Putt. interesting, putt, nice, easy swing with the wow. putter. okay. <laughs> Oh, I don't think I could hit out of a bunker with a pitching wedge. That's why I need the you 60. Can. You really can. A greenside bunker with a pitching wedge? Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, I'm Sometimes fucking... Sometimes I'll hit an eight out of the... That's going into another fairway, brother. That's... I'm not... <laughs> That's not going to be... Oh, I didn't say I'm doing it well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll definitely hit an eight iron out of a greenside bunker every now and again. Really? I... I you do, you have a really good bump and run that I I literally can't do it. Like, you're yeah, really that's what good. I'm trying that. to do for some reason. I would have decided I'm going to bump and run it yeah. out of the sand. I, I, I don't have that shot. I can't. Like, I would wait. I'm like, I would flop shot that shit. Hmm. Yeah, mostly I'll do that now. It, de it depends on the sand. You know what I mean? Like, if you're playing where it's quasi and you could get like clean, where the ball sits up clean, you could do it. Yeah, if you Maybe pick clean, no, you can hit. No lip, you can hit an iron. Yeah, you know, there's no yeah. lip. I've uh, I've putted out of the sand a number of times. If there's no really, lip. yep. If there's like if the, not good sand, and yeah. not a lot, no big lip, and not a lot of space between the edge of the bunker and the and the green, I'll putt. Yeah, I've done it twice. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, more or less, I'm doing the same thing. I'm just doing it with an eight. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. I'm guessing. I'm guessing there. Right. But I, I've taken your lead, Nick. I haven't been playing a lot of Ontario sand. I'm disappointed with Ontario sand. Yeah, I sent a letter to Doug good. Ford about Did it, you? and uh, he hasn't replied yet. But not yet. Like, Listen, I'm surprised. What, what yeah, was in the letter yeah. exactly? <laughs> it I was, was like, a Listen. picture of him and Seal, and uh... <laughs> that's on my letterhead. Me, Seal, and my driver. <laughs> and, and then I was just like, "Listen, get your head out of your ass. You want to get some real sand in this goddamn province?" And I was like, you know wake up 
<laughs> Yours sincerely, Kiss by a Rose, yeah. Monty Scott. Monty, Monty <laughs> Colin Scott. You say you say God. Scott higher. <laughs> <laughs> So Nick, as a as our guest and as as one of our uh, most avid Re- listeners and viewers, our regular contributor and regular contributor, do you want more or less golf talk? You guys keep doing what you're doing. Okay, all right. Okay, I so- think it's a. I, I mean, I I do not miss an episode. I'm not saying that just because I'm on here. I listen every oh, week. Well, thank you. And I do know what you're talking about. And then sometimes I get hammered, and I'm like Monty. I yell at Monty about something <laughs> golf related. I'm like, hey, you gotta fucking talk about this, Monty. <laughs> And then Monty, yeah, Kim. That's what you were telling me. Yeah, I was talking about Anthony Kim, and Monty's like, "Oh, yeah. we'll bring you on." And, I, and if you felt forget immediately, and here we are. So it all works out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's true. I did happen. I did manage. I did manage to get the message to Nick at some point that Nick's got. Nick wants to talk about um, yeah. somebody, but again, I forgot who. But I was like, um, I'm pretty sure I knew he was a Korean. I was like, he wants to talk about a Korean guy. Some Korean uh, guy, yeah. He wants to talk about Kim's convenience or something. <laughs> <laughs> He wants to talk about a Korean guy. We He's really upset on. that that show's not in the air anymore, I think. I, I can't remember what we were drinking. Yeah. Did I'm you guys finally see a Full Swing? Yeah. Did you watch did you? the season two of Full Swing? I'm good. I don't have I Netflix. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot you didn't have Netflix, which yeah. blew everyone's mind. I was sick of not getting it. I, was, I think I'm going to get it, but I'm going to wait until uh, Diane is teaching a course at U of T. Once she's done that, we got more free time on our hands, mm. and then I'll get Netflix for a bit. I thought you were just trying to sneak in a Netflix subscription, and I was like, "Well, that doesn't seem necessary." Huh? How do you do that? I thought this was like secret because because she's distracted by the course. Oh no 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 no! I, mean, I, thought, I was like, I don't why. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I feel no, like I'm going to try to get everything in as quickly as I can, and then get the hell out of there so I don't spend any money. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, I got Pro V's to buy, man. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you got, I heard a truck's coming in up uh, uh, Friday. <laughs> um, so we'll see. What I'm probably just gonna do is go to your golf bag, Monty. Pick out the 37 <laughs> that are in there. And just go. Oh, these are no good. And you won't even yeah. know. You're like, I, I gotta take yeah. them. Just tell me they're badly scuffed. And I'll be like, mm-hmm. well, I guess so. It all checks out. <laughs> Surely they're not. nerfing yeah. the golf ball, though. Really. <laughs> Yeah, the USGA is nerfing the golf ball in the next like two years. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, right. Yeah, oh, I heard about that. Seen. So they're deadening the ball. They're yeah, they're rolling back the golf ball, yeah. which only literally will affect us and not pros, which is hilarious. But true, it'll yeah. slow them down a little though. That's good. They're, the ball's going too far now. I I think that's clubs though. Go that's back both. to the old school drivers, man. Both, yeah, no more metal drivers. Yeah, make the, make the heads this big. big. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I I got We're a grass full back of shillelaghs. And... Yeah. <laughs> I, I I love a burnished shillelagh. Is lo- that's how I like to play girl- golf uh, ideally? But you know. <laughs> but everybody do themselves, I guess. You know what I mean? I'm like, well, there's no more shillelaghs. I definitely I might, I might have a few varnished shillelaghs on uh, St. Patty's Day myself. <laughs> that's, that's coming up, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's when this episode long. comes out. That's oh, right. Hell yeah. Happy St. Patty's Day, everybody. Yeah. Go have a shillelagh. Uh, I also got <laughs> feedback that we talk over Gina too much. Um, uh, the three defense, of us. Yeah. Gina's, well, she scares me. So once she starts talking, I. <laughs> you don't act like she scares you. You act mostly yeah. like you're uh, amazed at her entire lifestyle. Well, I. I want to be a young, successful person so badly in life. Sure, maybe that's, that's all it. I want to be. Yeah, I think we all just want free shit. Yeah, that's mm. true. Yeah, sure. yeah. Just mm-hmm. getting sent nice. free shit. Yeah, yeah. Like free golf balls would be. Oh my god! Hey, any scuff on it. If yeah. I don't like, if I hit a bad shot, fuck this ball. Exactly. Oh, for real. Oh man, I would love to have some free scorts. Shoe. Some free scorts would be nice. <laughs> I could wear those all summer long. <laughs> Well, Daryl, unfortunately, when it comes to living a, um, a greatly successful young life, um, similar to the uh, semicolon, it's hard to go backwards on that one. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, you're thinking of the colon, Monty. There's a semicolon you go backwards. <laughs> the semicolon, you can't go backwards. You can't, you can't change octaves in the past. <laughs> it's important to know. 
<laughs> I, I don't think we talk well we might but we always give her the floor we do give her the floor i think we just yeah yeah maybe just need to give her a little bit more space finish I think her the thoughts problem is it's, it's three stand-ups versus an improv sketch person so That's true. we yeah. really get ours out there we yeah, don't yes, and yes ending yeah yeah, yeah, yeah exactly yeah. yeah i try not to talk over but surely i do I didn't. Well, I don't. I. 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 I never noticed that. Wow. But it's. It's like you, there's four people. It's hard. Yeah, it is hard. Yeah, that's. Yeah. That's the. It is hard. It's hard. It's oh, tough because you're like anticipating. Even right now, I'm like. I'm like looking. I'm like, oh, someone's getting ready to talk. I'm gonna. Yeah. Sit back. Right. It's. It's hard. Yeah, yeah, and even when you're ready to talk, and then someone throws out a colon, and then you're like, well, <laughs> now I have to wait for them to go back. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's gonna do it higher this time. Gotta go right. backwards and higher. <laughs> What's important for the listeners to know? You, they. You think this is a game? <laughs> you think this shit is easy? <laughs> Monty woke up a half an hour before this episode. This is yeah. not easy. I'll tell you one thing in the podcast game. If you think you're dead, you've got no time for nothing. <laughs> Same as flying airplanes. If you think you're dead. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't think that's the same as flying airplanes. It's all instinct. You've got no time for nothing, Daryl. I think that's the Hunger Games you're thinking of. <laughs> uh, Nikki, we love you. You'll always have a spot on this podcast. Thank, Thank you, you for the support. We, I can't wait to play with you and David this year. Uh, hey, man. Anytime you guys are ready, oh I'll be God. out there. I can't. You're guard, oh, he's out there already. Yeah. Rain or shine, brother. I'm out there. I got four pairs of golf shoes now. <laughs> Twice as many as I have. That's been amazing. playing golf for a year. Got four pairs of shoes. <laughs> that's right. Got 55 golf polos. I've just been buying golf shit, man. Oh, yeah. If I'm not playing, I'm buying some golf related shit. I love it. <laughs> amazing. Thanks for listening, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Comedy Records. Poland. Thanks, Connor Records. <laughs> God bless you all. We figured out the semicolon. <laughs> it's still different than a colon, Monty. They're two different things. <laughs> God damn. I did it. Let me reverse it. I'll do it a different octave. <laughs> Shout out to Seal, man. <laughs> Thanks for listening, Seal. <laughs> used to call the tradesman's entrance. Now, you know, it doesn't count as the tradesman's entrance. It goes in the side. It only goes in the back. She can hit it, uh, although it looks like it's strongly uphill. It's really